Hi everyone. Let's see an example of the app where we have a table of flights and we want this flights list to be shown in the mobile application. First of all, let's navigate to the backend section and create a new table. Each flight has its flight number. of an integer type, destination, of enum type, let's make the first one London, Paris, and New York. Also, the flight has departure point. It will be kind of the same as destination. And we will also have an image cover for each flight. It will be of a file type. Let's save the data model and navigate to the mobile section. Create a new application and make all the settings to be default ones. First of all, I'm going to delete all the screens I'm not going to use. Secondly, let's make sure that the user will be navigated to the sign-in screen when he launches the app. This can be configured in the Triggers and Actions section. Let's edit the On Launch trigger and change the settings of Navigate block. Choose the sign-in screen. Next, let's create a blank screen to show the flights list. We need to add list component in here. Drag and drop the list component. Then we are ready to edit our list items. Let's find the container. And put all the other information in there. First of all, let's find the image component. Then we need the flight number and we are going to use the text component for this purpose. And the same will be applicable for destination and departure points. Let's make the image to be 100% width and the height to be auto. We want to see the flights data inside these elements. In order to do this, let's change the model field parameter for the parent component, let's choose the flight one. Go back to the text element and change the model field here. So it will reflect the flight number. Then we want to see departure point and destination. The last step we want to perform in the user interface is to change the default height of the list element. Let's select the list component, use custom styles and select the height to be 100%. Then we want the flights data to be appeared when the user is signed in here. So let's navigate to the workflow section of the list item 
and create a new business process. Let's find the get flight block. The business process will start when the list is created. This data in the output should be provided in the list update data block. Specify the widget ID so the data property appeared and connect the data. Then we want to upload the images here. In order to do this, navigate to the workflow section and add the business process. When the image element is created, we need to get the flights data. We already have it in our list, so let's just use list get data block. Specify the list ID. Now we see data in our output. The record ID here is similar to the flight ID, so we need to check every element in the list data and if the flight ID is equal to record ID, then we can get the image from that flight record. To check every element in the array, the for each loop block is used. Then expand the array data with the expand flight block. As it was said, if the flight ID here is similar to record ID, then we need to download the image file from the backend. To compare the IDs, we can use the equal block. So, if IDs are equal to each other, we need to download this image file from the backend. Just type the download keyword to find the block you need. Finally, when we get the file, we can expand it with the expand file block. and provide the bytes array into the image with image update properties block. Image ID here should be similar to the one in the onCreate block. And in the last step, we want to break the loop. Let's save our business process. The last change we want to make is to make sure that the user will be navigated to the flights list once he is signed in successfully. So let's open the sign-in screen and edit the sign-in business process Find the navigate block, and change the screen to be the flights one. Okay, that's pretty it. We are ready to save our application. I already put some records in the flights table, so we can just open our mobile application and see how it works.